All right, everybody, I don't want to waste too much of your time. I have a 2007 Ford F350, and it is going through a head gasket replacement job, just like everybody else's. Um, in the middle of this project, I went ahead and did a 6.7 liter starter and upgraded that because it was easy to get to. And then I got my cylinder heads and everything bolted on with the ARP, just a standard head head stud kit. I didn't buy the uh, that new 625, um, whatever, aged in a special wine barrel. Who knows? And then I did buy the ARP um, fasteners. Uh, I'm sorry, the light's a little low. There are the, some ARP fasteners for the top side of the cylinder head that need to be replaced or, or could be replaced. I could not find any technical data that told me that these were torqued to yield bolts as well. But that brings me to my next point. I have utilized a new set of fasteners because from what I read that the exhaust manifold um, hardware is a, is a torque to yield bolt. So that means it's a one time use and done, throw it away, get a new set. And this is what I got. I got a Napa Solutions exhaust manifold hardware kit. The part number is 8195219-1. I think it was about 35 bucks for the kit and I had to get two of them. So maybe it was a little bit more expensive than some out there, but I trust I trust some things from Napa. I trust that it's a good quality grade bolt 10.9 on the uh, the Rockwell hardness scale there. And everything else you need to put it together. Now, one thing that I do like on this kit that I got, I ended up ordering, excuse the mess, I got stuff everywhere because everybody wants to see the life of somebody that works too much. So this Felpro kit here, the HSU 26374, it's a head gasket set without the head gaskets themselves. Um, and it has all kinds of different gaskets, intake manifold, um, intake manifold o-rings exhaust manifolds valve covers and the list goes on and you can you can figure all that out as necessary if you decide you want this kit um, the hardware excuse me the, the seals i've always trusted felpro for stuff um, now i'm not resealing the oil cooler i wouldn't do that unless it you know i would always use the ford gaskets everybody recommends but it looks to me that it's at least the same color uh, O-rings for resealing the turbocharger. And it's got new turbocharger gaskets and a plethora of other stuff to be able to reseal everything. I did like the valve cover gaskets. I feel like they were better than the Ford ones. They look much heavier duty on both sides. And they snap into the valve cover fasteners nicely. And they hold in place really, really well. I am very happy with the fit and the finish of these. I have not had it on the road, so I don't know anything about the functionality. But the whole point of this video, and then here's some new intake gaskets. They look nice. They look like they'll do the job, I hope. But the whole point of this video was exhaust manifold gaskets because I did not find a lot of data on the internet. Some, some things say you can install these without putting the gasket on and some say until so you go ahead and update it and put a gasket in place i believe 6.4s come with gaskets and when you when you buy like the bd diesel kit i think they recommend putting a gasket on there so i'm going to go ahead and install the gasket just to make sure we got everything going the way it needs to be going and uh get it going i've said get it going a lot So this is the gasket here. It's Felpro name brand. It has a crush sealing ring there and one side is raised and it's rounded. And then you can see that on the profile of it. Let me get you a better view of it. You can see that it protrudes so that when you tighten the exhaust manifold down, it crushes it. And then on this side, it is completely flat. So I really don't know what is gonna be the better fit because they're universal. I would think that it would be best 
to have this rounded crush um, portion of the gasket facing the engine block or facing the head because it's rounded when the exhaust gases come out of the head here that they they hit it and they're they're pushed back into the uh the manifold I, i've laid it on the manifold i think it fits nicer this way when the flat side is on the manifold and the and the o-ring or the protruded side is facing the uh the cylinder if i had a way to prop it up here i would also show you putting it on or getting it started at least also on the exhaust manifolds there is one hole that is smaller than the other ones if you see the size difference here on these I'm trying to get it to autofocus here this is much larger this one is smaller because in the manual it says start with this one to get it hung on the uh the side of the engine or the cylinder head because it it uh it's more precise, it will help you with alignment better. It will help you get it all right where it needs to go. So I'm gonna set my phone down here. And we're gonna see if we can get something going on. That doesn't look terrible. I think that'll do. One thing that I did forget to mention is I bought some Permatec, Permatex NICs, and it is good for up to 2,400 degrees, which is the same standard as the Ford stuff. I mean, I just, it, this was $4 where... It was like twenty to thirty dollars for the bigger tube of what Ford recommends. I, I don't really see a difference. I trust Permatex has been a good um, quality product ever since I've started working on vehicles. So give it a little dab of the NICs on the threads. So maybe one day if you sell the truck and it gets down the road to somebody else, maybe they'll be able to get it apart, you know? You're not, you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the next guy. What I like to do is I just like to smear it into the threads, make a nice even coat, and then that's it. So I put the, oh, I slid it off. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit here. Should be able to get it in there between the dipstick for the transmission. And you should be able to just Get it set up there like that. If I had an extra set of hands. And you just gotta get it started. Give it a little wiggle. Give it a little start. And that ought to do it right there. I'm gonna get my 10 mil, my Everybody seems to use one of these electric Milwaukee ratchets. And try to find the right extension kind of combo. Either that, we'll just find a 10 mil ratchet wrench. 
somewhere and just get it started a little better. Get, get a little bit better bite on it, get it in there and then start getting the rest of them in and lining them up. I hope this helps. I hope I'm doing it right. I hope somebody finds some value in this. I didn't find another video on the internet about it. So hopefully this will get you guys in the, in the ballpark. And again, I did not tighten that too much. I just tightened it maybe a little bit too much, just enough to kind of keep it in position so I can get the other bolt started without having to worry about it falling on me. And again, this is the bolt that forward recommends you start with. It kind of seems to um, float it there and, and gives you a nice balance so you don't have to fight it too hard. See ya.